Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Good morning. So it's very, very early. I didn't get much sleep last night because the wife woke me up this morning and she says, there's a flood in our basement. Uh, immediately I'm thinking, oh my God, did the, uh, did the boiler burst, you know, and water's just flooding the basement, did a, a pipe burst, whatever. It turns out that it was only uh, somebody using the bathroom downstairs in the basement. The flushy thing wasn't, you know, seated and water just kept on going into the cesspool. So overnight, the cesspool filled up with water and then backed up into the um, bathroom. Luckily, it was clean water that was backed up. It was just overflowing from the toilet bowl, but there was nothing dirty in it, you know? So I spent the uh, early mornings va uh, getting a shop vac, a wet, dry shop vac, and sucked up most of the water. It wasn't all that much. It was like maybe a half an inch or so of water in the bathroom and about a uh, less than a half an inch of water in the furnace, the boiler room, you know? Uh, so that's what I was really concerned about was the, the furnace, the broiler. So after I sucked all that stuff up, um, I told my wife to turn the thermostat up a couple of degrees to get, have it kick in, and sure enough, it kicked in. So uh, there wasn't any issue with that, which is great. Um, then she was like, uh, well, what are we gonna do? Should we call the cesspool guys again? And I said, you know what? I had a subscriber recently talk to me about an old episode I did about uh, my cesspool being pumped. And he told me if I took some PVC pipe and made like a 30 foot or 35 foot uh, pipe, right? That disconnects into like two parts or three parts, whatever, and hook it up to my air compressor, right? And then cut like a diagonal thing on the end of it so that it's like a spike, you know what I mean? Uh, I can shove that in there, turn on my air compressor, and instead of hydrojetting it where they take water and shoot it with air into the sand in the cesspool, loosen it up so that the water flows through it, right? So right now, probably water is not flowing fast enough because of all the sand, whatever, and the, you know, shit and stuff like that that's built up over the past year or so, and sludge, uh, that I could loosen all that stuff with just air, just keep going, just jabbing the hole inside, you know, having that spike dig into the sand, loosening it up so that the water will flow out. So if I can drain all the water that has flowed in there overnight, I don't need to spend five, six hundred dollars on a on a cesspool pump. So I'm here at Home Depot and I'm gonna go get some PVC pipe. Okay, I'm in here where all the PVC pipe is. I think I'm gonna get three of these. So three of these should be, I mean, really deep, you know what I mean? I honestly think maybe just two would be okay. Because, uh, I mean, how deep could it be? I mean, this has got to be like, uh, it's 10 feet, right? Because I'm like 5'11", or I'm sorry, I'm 5'7", so... Yeah, that's got to be 10 feet tall. So two of them is 20 feet. That's pretty... Uh, could, it be, could it be 30 feet? Anyway, so I've got these couplers here that have rubber washers in between so I can connect them that way without having to PVC cement it so I can remove it as I'm shoving in one... Uh, rod in there I connect this to the second rod push it all the way down yeah I don't I don't really think it's that it's 20 feet deep and then I'll attach the air compressor nozzle with some rubber hose whatever clamp it and just as long as air gets down there you know that's what I'll do okay there it is uh, I believe that's 10 feet so I got 20 feet of pipe if it was too short I have a, a copper one so uh, this is a coupler with uh, a rubber washer in the middle right I'm just gonna attach this to that the rubber washer over it <laughs> I'm assuming then uh, put that right there and then screw it that's what you said and uh, that should hold this to that. Yeah, pretty good. And then I'll just do the same thing to this one, uh, to the backyard. Now I have to figure out how to connect my compressor part of it. This part here. 
to this. So if I just find like a rubber hose, put a, uh, put a hose clamp here, another hose, put a hose clamp there. I mean, I was, I was looking for the threaded brass kind that goes, that, you know, you screw into here, but then you're trying to attach brass to PVC. So it's not gonna be a tight fit anyway, you know what I mean? So I figured I'd just find some uh, rubber hose and then clamp it like that. So then when the air compressor's on, We'll blow air right through this at the very end of it where it is inside the cesspool i'll cut this with a grinder in a diagonal slant so that this is like a spike so that that digs right into the sand you know as the air is pushing you know the bubbles whatever and hopefully you can loosen up the sand on the very bottom allow more water to drain out and so that all i'm left with this sludge because I know that cesspool is now filled with just not so much shit and sludge, but uh, like 80% water. So I just wanna aerate the bottom of it so that the water drains into the ground, you know? At least that's my logic about how cesspools work, you know? I, I've had to pay somebody five, $600 every year or something to come and pump out 3,000 gallons of water. It gets expensive, and if I could do this, you know, um, maybe I could get two, three years out of a pump, you know, and, and when the guy does come and pump it, it's mostly shit and sludge, not mostly water, you know. Unfortunately, when the water is built up high like that, you can't flush the toilet downstairs because it's full and it takes a long, long time for that water to drain out, you know, and if it's packed, compacted with a lot of sludge and shit, it's not going to drain at all. That's why you get it pumped, you know, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm just giving it a try. It costs uh, $15 for these things, so it's worth it to try and see if I can do it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna connect these two. I know I should just do it back there, but I'll just do it here. And uh, I'm gonna shove this pipe into the hole. That's what she said. And see if it even reaches. So I, I know I can, uh, if it doesn't reach, I'll have to try to fabricate a way to uh, get that part, the, uh, a copper pipe onto here to reach, you know? But uh, I think it will probably reach, maybe, sort of, kind of, not 100% sure, but we'll see. Okay, let's try to bring this in the backyard without breaking it. So this is the cap where my cesspool is hidden. It's a little uh, rubber cap here, and uh, in there is the sludge. So I'm going to see if this reaches all the way down there. It's going to be yucky. That's almost one whole pipe down there, so that's 10 feet. Uh-huh, I've hit bottom, so it was enough. Cool. Now uh, I'm a little afraid that, what if it, um, what if it slips and that other pipe is down there forever, you know? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually tape it know what I mean? I know you know what I mean. So I've got like this uh, rubber hose, two clamps, onto this coupler with the uh, air compressor gun trigger thingamajig onto there. So that's pretty solid. Uh, I, I just duct taped those two pieces together so I don't lose the first part of it. So I'm gonna drag out my air compressor and uh, plug it in somewhere and start aerating. So my air compressor is pumped up. It's a uh, 100 PSI twin cylinder. I don't see, oh, it's one horsepower. I don't know how many gallons. And we're just gonna connect it and do some blowing. Ooh, cool. Oh. Oh, I think I'm doing something. Yeah. 
the more I'm blowing, it goes deeper. Got some leakage here. Okay, I'm gonna probably have to go and connect my air compressor to some power because it's gonna drain all the air. But I'm doing something. I can hear it swollen around down there. And the more I blow, it goes deeper. So I'm agitating the sand on the bottom allowing the water to swirl around and how about it So I actually made a big pole made of uh, metal stuff. I'm just just uh, <laughs> trying to dig it deeper, you know. I don't think I've done anything today. It's been a big waste of time. Um, blowing air into here and uh, honestly I just keep on pushing it in, pushing it in. And then it gets packed with like rocks and stuff inside and gets clogged. And I don't think I've made any headway whatsoever. I think my ground is just so compacted that uh, I'm not going to be able to, I might need a whole new cesspool, that's what I'm thinking. This is mostly just water in here, shit's on the bottom. Ugh, ugh, ugh. What am I going to do? been messing with that thing by myself for a couple hours you know what I mean I don't think uh, the water level went down at all so hey I can't take a shower I can't take a shit I can't do the dishes I can't wash anything until I get a professional so hopefully uh, these new guys here are gonna give me a good deal they know I'm a youtuber <laughs> anyway I was using the same guys for like 15 years I'm giving a new guy a try because these guys actually did my neighbor Steve's recent. This is Quality Cesspool. This is Tommy. Say hi, Tommy. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Quality Cesspool over here in Huntington, Long Island. Their truck is much nicer than local Cesspool for sure. Nice red color. Anyway, we'll see how they do. I've got a ton of shit. And it's to the rim. So... It has to be done. We'll see how much they charge me. Uh, <laughs> I'll ask for the cash price. You know what I mean? There's always a cash price. So they hook up this big hose goes in there I don't hear nothing yet but he's supposed to turn on some kind of a generator
So we just sucked out 3,000 gallons of sludge, shit, water. And then he stuck that long pole down there all the way. And it was only about uh, a couple of feet left of water, right? So now he's gonna reverse it. And he's gonna shoot water in there uh, with air, the hydrogen. Then he's gonna suck it back out again. So you see that uh, 20 foot long rod that he just put in there? It's going all the way down now. So his hydrojetting is working. I couldn't get it any lower. Okay, so now that thing's showing about five feet of water. All the water went back in there again. That thing was all sucking. So Tommy just told me to flush the toilet and we can hear the water dripping in. So as fast as money goes into my pocket, it comes right back out again to give to those guys. It would be uh, unfair of me to tell you how much he charged me, but it's about the same as what the other guy charged me for the past 15 years. Uh, anyway, he says I gotta take it easy on the, like no laundry for a couple of days, you know, take it easy on the water, let the chemicals do its magic. Uh, you know, burns up the sludge and the shit and all that just to clean it out really well, you know. Uh, let's see how long this one lasts, you know. It's never fun to have to pay for your cesspool to be pumped out, but it is what it is, right? If I wanted to replace it with a new cesspool in, system in here, it would cost like seven or $8,000. And uh, I'm just gonna pump it every year until I leave this property, you know, and, uh, It'll be somebody else's problem. <laughs> In Long Island, that's what it's common cesspools, you know. And uh, I mean, I'm I came from New York City, you know, Queens, so I had sewage system my whole life. I didn't care how many showers I took a day, how much water was, you know, because water's cheap, you know what I mean. So you know, live in Long Island now. Oh my God, if you got a water drippy faucet, whatever, I gotta fix it because every little drop adds into the cesspool if it's not draining, you know. Anyway, that's my video for today. It was completely an unintended video, but uh, <laughs> I record pretty much everything I do. Uh, I showed you the shit. I just didn't show you me taking the shit. <laughs> See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowersandblowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.